This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both our Jedi Order and the Republic have fallen, with the dark shadow of the Empire rising to take their place. This message is a warning and a reminder for any surviving Jedi. Trust in the Force. Do not return to the Temple. That time has passed, and our future is uncertain. Avoid Coruscant. Avoid detection. Be secret. But be strong. We will each be challenged. Our trust, our faith, our friendships. But we must persevere and, in time, I believe a new hope will emerge. May the Force be with you always. Obi-Wan Kenobi's warning in the recall signal in the decades after the dissolution of the Galactic Republic, numerous individuals still clung to the memory of the now Old Republic and its fabled Jedi warriors, while many individuals who knew the Jedi in person refused to believe the Emperor's account of a Jedi Rebellion. The Jedi Order that served the Republic would continue its legacy and endure during the Great Jedi Purge. Having been freed from his control chip by former Jedi Ahsoka Tano during the skirmish aboard the Venator-class Star Destroyer Tribunal, the former clone captain CT-7567, Rex, resolved to fight for the Republic against the Empire, telling former clone Sergeant Hunter that they were living proof that the Republic lived on. Nevertheless, a majority of galactic citizens eventually came to believe and actively support the pro-imperial view, believing the Republic to have grown weak and corrupt, necessitating Palpatine's rise to power. In order to destroy the memory of the previous government, any visible reminder of the Old Republic was quickly removed, with many organizational changes altering the names of various locales and institutions, while architecture was molded to a more severe and dark aesthetic. With the renowned Galactic Senate being renamed the Imperial Senate and the Senate Plaza renamed Imperial Plaza and a giant statue of the Emperor erected in it, one could almost forget the Republic even existed. However, the memory of the Republic as a force of freedom and justice could never be fully destroyed as long as those who still believed in it lived, thus spurring numerous resistance movements throughout the Empire's reign such as the Free Ryloth Movement and Birch Teller's Rebel Cell. These displays of resistance eventually coalesced into the Alliance to restore the Republic prior to the Battle of Yavin, where the Death Star was destroyed. Subsequent battles included the Battle of Endor which saw the destruction of the second Death Star and the deaths of Sidious and Vader, the latter redeeming himself as Anakin Skywalker. In the aftermath of their victory at Endor, the Alliance declared itself the New Republic as an ode to the Old Republic. However, the New Republic disavowed some aspects of the Old Republic, particularly the legacy of its final years under the Chancellery of Sheev Palpatine. The word, Supreme, was removed from the title of Chancellor. Coruscant was stripped of its traditional role as the Galactic Capital, allowing other worlds to host the restored Galactic Senate on a rotating cycle, and the Military Disarmament Act reduced the New Republic Defense Force in the aftermath of the Galactic Civil War. Such efforts succeeded in convincing former separatist worlds to support the New Republic, but also led to political partisanship in the Senate where populists favored the sovereignty of member worlds while centrists lobbied to increase the central government's power and military spending. Ultimately, the centrist worlds seceded from the New Republic and joined the First Order, a successor to the Galactic Empire, resulting in the Cold War between the two galactic powers. The story of Old Republic Regent Heilmain Lightbringer and his supposed immortality would be remembered in history texts along with Old Republic music such as the Sestina of Imperator Vex, which would continue to be sung even in the months following the Battle of Endor.